Velio. I imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment last this long. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's Tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. A reservoir of ancient magic. Downstairs, near the entry. I should investigate. Rebellion. I've seen this before, in Gringotts and the Restricted Section. Impressive. 
That must have done something. Best have a look around. Revelia. Traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. Revelia. Revelio. These are never a welcome sight. At least I know what to expect this time. Revelio. These look familiar. What have the Keepers planned for me?
Revelia. Was it Accio I used before? That platform looks like it ought to get me where I need to go. I presume I'm looking for traces of ancient magic, but where? burst of magic do? Perhaps I should examine things from both sides of the archway. Revelia. changes when I move in and out of the archway.
I can see a way out on one side, but when I pass through the archway, it's blocked by a wall. Here. statues. Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. Okay. What did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? Something must be different. I need to see how the room changes when I move in and out of the archway. Rebellion. I'll never get used to these floors. Me either. Weird. 
Oh boy. Oh my god. Ah, oh, crap. Did she say potato? No, she did not say potato. Jesus. Revelia. Anything down here? Hmm? Now yeah, Pringles. <laughs> Oh, I think I like that. to see what's changed on each side of this archway. Oh god. That again. Hmm. 
It's not going to help me, is it? Nope. <laughs> no. Oh, I suppose, huh? Revelio. Yeah, finally. Better late than never, I guess. Stop with the creepy floors already. Oh, man. I like the look of this. Oh my god. No, oh, crap. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh crap. Oh my god, that dude was huge. What a relief. What a relief. Is that all you got to say? Vivelio. Oh my lord. Whoa. Now this is cool. Another pensive. Of course my gear slots are full. Well, I'm gonna dump something. I'm just gonna dump those. It does, right? It's awful. Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The drought was years ago. The pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. <clears throat> what if I could help him, Professor? <clears throat> you do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morganach, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Hmm. Yep, that's Another the same memory. trick. Yep. 
Now to find a way out of here. I'm guessing she's a witch gone bad. Revelia. More crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. So cool looking. Here's your good. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir, and this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringos with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You'll need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter. Of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood, do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. Yeah. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now... Tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, <laughs> I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at it! it looks so pretty! Hogwarts in the fall. Mm, the new map.
tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. I should ask Serona of the Three Broomsticks about the goblin she was talking to the day of the troll. Spectacular news! <laughs> the broom upgrade's ready. I mean, Stop you never know. When you can. Hi, Craft Joy. I hope you will come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. Oh, I believe God. Blah, 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 blah. I need to go to Hogsmeade. I need to sell some crap in my inventory. Maybe. So that's where we're going first. Can always see poop in every game. Doesn't get any more cozy after class. Once you have completed the tasks I've set for you, Ooh, it's Maddie's mum. You spoke for pulling objects to the ground. Okay. Ooh, a little bit laggy. Speaking, there's never been a team like this year's champions. You're welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom. Hold on. Okay, we need to. Yeah. Have a look and see. Nope. What I've got on is a better one. I mean, it's a cute little coat, I guess. Dead Revelio since the start of this game. I don't know. It'd be nice to see if there's a thingy that can tell you. I kind of like my distinguished. I might keep both of these. Because that's kind of cute too. Okay. Ooh, that's cute. None of these gloves are worth it. And I don't really care about the glasses, so, okay. I truly appreciate all of your help. What are we looking for today? I would like to sell some stuff, Albie. Signifying. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Just You'll be thrilled with that brains. broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. I just, I must tell you, Arthur Vogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. Oh, I wonder, dear. Would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this mm. first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? I guess so. What more can you tell me about the next course? It's just a jaunt from here, south of Oxmead. Beautiful mountain views. The course was designed to test flyer stamina. Some of your classmates mentioned they were headed there, eager to see what Imelda has in store. A bit surprising, considering many of them express reticence at the idea of racing against her at all. 
I hope that won't deter you and you'll give the course a go. At least think on it. it. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. <laughs> Report back as soon as you can and we'll be off to the races. Yes, yes. Ooh, kitty. What else is here that we have to do? I'm going to speak to Simona. Jesus. I got so much crap to do. Only the butterflies and the ribbon verse. to Serena. This is the longest process you've seen. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to do some of these um, side ones. Get them out of the way. So let's finish this one first. Okay, I think this is up with floating candles let's view okay so we're gonna go to the dark forest the forbidden forest oops my bad then pull the map this one oh. back to us too get stuck at some point of you don't do the side ones? I think so, because the side ones, you are learning new stuff. That's what I want. Some of the side ones teach you spells, so you can't really go forward until you go and do those spells. So, learn those spells. But I think I'm just going to break down some of them so I don't have to worry about it. Um, I'm gonna need to go back to this bridge first. This bridge? The flowers or something out. They're kind of cool. I can't remember what bridge I had to go to. Pretty sure it was that bridge there. But yeah. Oops, inventory. Oh, that's right. And four. Lumos. Oh god. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsey might get an answer about these butterflies. Okay, we'll follow the butterflies. Oh, right now the butterflies are going over there. Oh, 
The butterflies are drunk. Oh, well, look what we have here. Oops. Okay, I'm going back this way. I need to find these stinking candles. Lumos. Running, 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 I'm running over here. <laughs> run, 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 run. Revelio. We're running all over the bloody place. Repairo. Oh. Lumos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So confused. Okay, this one doesn't want to play for me, so we'll just go to the next one. Don't miss wizard. Will it Z? Let's do that. This other one doesn't want to work for me. Where is she now? them I'm not trying to I'm trying to get a dang thing Right, my it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. The teleport one. <laughs> Baby. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hi, Tarina. Hello, Miss Willardsey. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Hmm, okay. Should just talk to Serena while I'm here, I guess. Ryan, I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. 
Sirona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that Ouch. day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. It seemed as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now? We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly. The lady have a dude voice. <laughs> which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. Yes. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Okay. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> okay, Miss Minnie. Okay. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. <laughs> don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and She's shouldn't be trifled with. <laughs> they should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. <laughs> Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please watch your back. Mm. She was telling Maddie off. It's like, take me outside. I want to pee. Okay, do we go see Lord Gok now? Yeah, may as well. House elves are wizard kind. Good to see you outside the castle. Hi. Welcome to the Arms Head. Revelio. Never mind me. Just taking treasure. Can I help you with something? Ding. Hello, Lord Gok. Serona said I might find you here. Yes, she did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Serona trusts me, and she said she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. 
Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. If I retrieve the relic, how do I know you'll tell me the truth about what Ranrock says? We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Hmm. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Fair enough. Revelio. Interesting. Okay, let's go and do some of these. Go do this one first. Do we need a map? Or what? Let me see Professor Garlic. Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, no, we need to do that. Acquire and use a venomous tentacula. Acquire and use a mandrake on multiple enemies. Okay, so I need to go to the... Um, what is it? No. Not that one. What is it? Oh, that one. Dogweed and death cat. The weed and the cat. Well, the quest is just <laughs> is a lot. It is a lot, but I mean, it keeps the game interesting. Here I come. Kitty. Hmm. Greetings. Come on inside. Lumos. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Blah, blah, blah. Yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Oh, what the heck? I was gonna say. <laughs> Revelia. It was 
there's something here. Oh, I've seen it. Yes. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Skip doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Does it get any more cozy than Hogs? Okay. So we use both of these. This one I have to use in multiple enemies, the other one I just have to use. Hmm, okay, so maybe we're going to find some enemies somewhere. Oh! Lumos! Oh, wrong one. Accio. Ooh. Revelio. Lumos. Revelia. Oops. Yeah. Repairer. Oh. Lumos. <laughs> Oh, 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 let me in the door, please. Oh. 
Oh yes, I did it. Can I take my broom for a spin? No, I can't yet. I'm too close to hog's mead. Let me add a hog's mead then. Ooh, what's up here? Ooh. A mission on my own? I'm currently trying to do the um, class assignments. So I'm trying to get myself back out of Hogsmeade so I can fly and find some enemies to attack with Mandrake. I'm ready. Oh, no, I'm not, Lord Gok. I'm not ready. Oh, maybe I am. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Ertgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind sees things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. All right. Oh, you will run? That's cool. Oh my god. But go, you run too slow. Let's go, dude. Ah, and there it is, the witch's tomb. Oh, dreadful looking place, isn't it? What did you expect? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? Yes, what the heck happened to my school road? It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. What about this helmet makes it so special? The Helmet of Ertgot is an ancient and storied relic. Forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. I don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb. Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. Well, 
Vivelio. Oh boy. It's sealed. Moths. Curious. Lumos. Bed. Oh boy. Revelio. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Lumos. Uh oh. That can't be good. I'm scared. Lumos. Revelio. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Great. Just great. Just freaking great. I pulled my pants. Not yet. Maybe soon. Yep, see. It's the walking dead. Can you hold on a second? I just need to mess with my no I don't, it's okay. Where'd the other one go? Oh my god. Revelia. They're not scary.
D E D. Well, they were already dead. Rebellion. <laughs> they just dead, and then they were. <laughs> huh? I don't get out there. How does one get up there? Sound of that. Pavelio. Hmm? Nothing? Hello? Huh. Oh, never mind. Come up. I did it. Lumos. How do we do this one? Hmm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Be rotated? No. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Let me this has a moth imprinted on it. The same as the door. Really? Lumos. I see the moth up there, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Revelio. What other spells do I have? Incendio. I guess not with fire. Hmm. Lumos. I see. This is supposed to spin. But how? I don't know. These ones? No. Hmm. Oh. 
Lumos. Hmm. Very confused. Repairer. Yep. Gives a hint. <laughs> a hint would be nice, please, Tard. And hello. Doesn't mean I'm just clutching at straws now. Help me, help me. Just keep blowing it up. So the butterflies, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Lumos. Want me to take them over here? Oh, would you look at that? Now what? Now use a forceful spell. Like the pulsar? Ah! Oh god. Wow. Thank you. God. What a pain in the bus. Yay! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> now it's open. <laughs> oh, Rebellion. <laughs> I'm gonna go up there. <laughs> I am, thank you. Oh, jeez. I oh, don't know, something about this doesn't feel right. <laughs> I need to get that platform closer, but how? Well, I don't want to. No, excuse me, you're in the way.
make this happen. Oh! Creepy. Pavelio. Very creepy. Everybody just uses bones to walk on. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Confringo. Down I go. No other way. I guess it does look precarious. It's sealed shut from the other side. I'm not scared, you're scared. Let me answer. Anything up there? Probably. No more. What's oh, this? What a tomb this is. Anything else? Oh. I don't want to go down there. I guess I got to. <laughs> Just the little. What's over here? Yes, spider webs make me feel at ease. Revelio. Oh look, I don't have to fall down a hole anymore. Come out of nowhere, and I'm gonna get disfigured. Yep, see. Oh, 
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh man. Bad enough, please. <laughs> this is Harry Plop. Oh, sorry. This is Hogwarts. Not freaking Walking Dead. Okay. I see you all. Lumos. And I guess you gotta go over here. Yes. Now I'm gonna stand here because I guess it's got something to do with you. Hmm, it just never really worked, anyways. <laughs> Looks even more complex. Lumos. Um Revelia uh. Making this spin ought to raise that platform. That must be it. We did see another one raise over there. Down here. Revelio. Anything here? No, it's serious. You did the same thing at first. What does that mean? That mean I needed to leave one on there. Can I put them back on there? Lumos. No, uh, uh, oh, shut up. Uh, oh, guess not. So, well, then what the heck am I supposed to do here? I'm confused. Oh, there's one here. I didn't even see that one. Oh. I see the issue. We should put that. Oops. Okay, never mind. Hmm. 
Lumos. Oh, Fred. Lumos. Ah, oh, man. I need to bring Ross to the door. Lumos. Okay. Witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. No, oh, there's too many dead bodies here. Oh, I can look for this. Revelio. A dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lodgok won't like this. Better show this to Lodgok. Hmm, I know there's a mechanism to open this door. Apparently. Lodcock, the sarcophagus has been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. Why, well, thank you. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Who's that? Um. You're going to regret that. Exposo. You will pay for your deed. How do I get down with that die? Wrong place, child. Now, become personal. There they are. The ash wings. No! Hard to be there. Stop them. Expulso! You will not survive this. Back from home. The final's all finished. Shall we finish what we started? Expulso! I call now while you're still alive. Flash of inspiration. Thought you could hide from me, did ya? You can free them. The Potatoes. What are your thoughts on electricity? Ah! <laughs> Not going well for you. You can free them. The Potatoes. 
My large friend. Lord. Troll bogies. No more happy days for you. Oh. Confringo. Oh. Oh. You've made a grave, man. Huh? What? Who said that? Woo, 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 woo. Um. Knew you were still hanging about. Oh. I did it. And an Ashwinder, no less. Revelia. Now, give me the goddamn thing. Troll bogeys. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile. Remarkable. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, huh, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. Mm -hmm. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Okay. Um. Tent Beast class. Ooh. Surface flying the spies. Flying the Cambridge Tower. Ten herbology. Okay, I gotta, gotta go to herbology.
Okay. Let's go to Hibology first. <laughs> I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> How wonderful to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a Leviosa. And a nice Not Leviosa. movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as Ooh. though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Okay. Whee. We're gonna levitate. We're gonna levitate something. Well done. Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. In the next room. He's saying who my <laughs> Leviosa. Leviosa. Not Leviosa. We got him Leviosa. You're a natural. I'll take that. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, hello. Oh. Okay. We done that one. <sighs> Back to flying near the spires. Imagine how inconvenient. <laughs> What's the deep side? I got to go fly me broom. Oh, I like the other one. Run. Let me out. Oh my god, that was bright.
my balloons. Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, I don't have to put these ones. I wanted to pop them ones, but okay. Popping those things, getting those things. Ah! Ah! I don't need a speed boost. There we go. Oh my god. Too fast. That's it. Uh oh. I don't know, we can just go back the easy way. <laughs> Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? Yes. Talk to me. Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice a resto momentum. A, a charm, incidentally, momentum. created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. <laughs> Precise, deliberate movements. Okay, let's go this. Okay. Here we go. Put Very it on good. I recommend <laughs> your new 
dispel as much as possible. Arrest my hands. That's it. Keep it up. What? Incendio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is set fire to the office. Acquiring and use invis invisibility potion and acquiring and use thunder brew thunder brew potion <laughs> against enemies. Okay. Cast a pulse on a levitated enemy. So maybe if I go and troll bogies, I've got troll bogies. You could do this one. Just really need to go and find somewhere where there's enemies. How would you like to learn the knockback jinx flipendo? Once okay. you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. Revelio. Uh, supposed to be doing something new. Ooh. I mean, I'll take that. Well, I'm hoping there's some enemies somewhere around, but... So cute. Cute. Why are you lagging? Easy. 
you know. I'm from a lineage steep. Let me <laughs> oh. If I have so much of a scratch on me, oh, you'll be it. sorry. Oh. Oh. Running home. <laughs> Oh, I, think I'm running. I refuse to be treated in this manner. Really enjoying the view. Oh, I'd like to be put down now. One less poacher in the wizarding world. This is our first divination class too, I guess, so... Mm, Hogwarts map... Oh! Another adventure, are we? No. Not exactly. Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in the next class. I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. The professor lacks direction. My honorary deputy headmistress to offer you the position of divination professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft or Wizardry. We are thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. Ooh. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? Um. I honestly don't know, Professor. At times, the future is murky to us all. As with rippling water, one must wait for things to settle before the reflection becomes clear. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. 
I shall inform our good deputy headmistress mm -hmm. of your <laughs> exemplary <laughs> performance. And if that Why performance <laughs> is any omen of what your future is opening hold, all your prize possessions, then it's I, okay. for one, see great things. Digging through everything. Channel your magic towards your targets. Descendo. Okay. <laughs> you have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Mm -hmm. Send her. I think yeah. <laughs> Hmm. hmm. Maybe we could put this one here. This one here. Yeah. I'll stop that. Get down. <sighs> Interesting way to get to a classroom. Okay. Everyone have a fuck speed. Put some more Dedalian keys to find. Speak with their Melda rays. Maybe we should do that. What are you up to now? Nanya. Nanya flipping business. Damn it! <laughs> Not doing the right one. <laughs> I like the other one.
Uh oh. No, we're safe. It's okay. Uh oh. Damn it. Oh man. You should never have come here. Shut up. Nobody asked you. Here we are. Oh, Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the fastest Ravenclaw. Imelda Reyes is always arranging broom trials. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. Well, they sit around and hope to be the best. I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing <laughs> really for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Strong competition? Could that have been a compliment, Imelda? Go ahead, believe what you want. Makes no difference. Compliments make people soft. No one goes around telling me I did a fine job. Do I care? No. I say I'm the best and that's all I need. So please, try to beat my record, fifth year. And don't be disappointed when you lose. I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. I'm not ready to fly, but I'm gonna fly. Oh god. I missed the first one. Can I restart? Ah! I'd say that was acceptable. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. It feels like he can fall off any moment. We probably can. <laughs> oh, crap. No, me either. Looks like I'm drunk rooming. I am. What do you mean? That was freaky. Oh god, here we go. Mother's gonna get mad. Seems my record remains untouched. I expected what? better competition from you. What do you say? 
up for another go? Yeah. A chance to avenge the honor of your house? That sort of thing? I'm ready to give it another Let go. Let me go Good. again. God, here we go again. Oh my... What the heck? <laughs> I didn't even touch it, I think. I didn't miss the first one. I'd say okay. that was acceptable. <laughs> oh, I nearly missed the second one, though. Damn woman. Mm, totally. Mm. Agreed. I have to agree with you there. I'm getting the hang of this. I don't know about that. Don't count your chickens before the hatch. Ah, that's a tree. Oh my god, I just slowed myself down. Brilliant. No! Ah! Oh my god, I nearly missed that ring. I need all the practice I can get. Missed it. What? How did I miss it? Okay. I missed the ring. I missed that one too now. I don't know how I missed the one before that though. I wonder if it's any easier with controller. I'm not giving up. Just stop drinking while you're flying. <laughs> uh, possibly. Seems my record remains untouched. Oh, shut up. What? A chance to avenge. I'm ready to give it another go. Good. Shut up, Imelda. Why are you slowing down? I'm getting the hang of this. No, we're not. <gasps> oh, my lord. Whoops. Ah! <laughs> ah. <laughs> now that's more like it. Ah, no, I close, missed it. But not close enough. Oh my god. Nope, no, 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 Oh my god, I missed it. I hate that the key to go lower is the, um, 
Left control! Oh my god. My finger doesn't like to bend back that way. No! Boy, oh boy. Made it. That was acceptable. Good Lord. Missed it. Missed it. You don't say. Yeah, I hate that the um to go lower is the left control. I struggle with that button. I struggle with that key all the time. Seems my record remains untouched. I expected better competition from you. What do you say? Up for another go? Oh, okay. Just give me one more. One more. I'm ready to give it another go. Good. Has his phone cross been getting attacked by? It did it again. There's like a take me from each time, yeah. The first few I find it hard to hit the yellow bubbles. Just yeah. Made it. No oh god. No, oh, there goes that one close, again. But not close enough. Yeah. The only thing I do is give you a beast of speed. I really need to stop trying to reach out at the same time. <laughs> Don't you shut up, that's fine. <laughs> I'd say that was acceptable. <laughs> now that's more like it. Oh, God. Oh my god. Not where I was going then, but anyway. Whatever.
Seems my record remains untouched. Shut up, mother. <laughs> I don't want to fly. See you soon. God dang it. Need more flying practice. I also need to go and open up these because I don't have them all open. Do you even use the flying? I do. It's a magic hotspot. Makes it so hard to search. They do make it harder, like, because you get such a boost of speed. It kind of, yeah. Irondale? I don't even I should talk to him. One handles. This is why it's good to run though, because you get to find things you don't normally see. Come on with auto <laughs> Maybe I just need more practice. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Why? Revelio. <laughs> it's the broom. Fascinating, truly fascinating. Wish Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. <laughs> yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my <laughs> husband passed. <laughs> madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested, and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. What? I should look into the statue Madame Twiddle mentioned. Lysias, in a minute. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Ah, oh, I don't have any Mallows, sweet. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. We do get all Mallows, sweet.
This looks like the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Why are there so many vases around here? Hmm. Oops. Was I supposed to do that? <laughs> Maybe? Maybe not? Ah, let's just see what happens if I do break them off. I should try to find all the vases. Should only be a few more vases. Revelio. Oh, there's another one there. I'm nearly finished. Only one more vase. Revelio. Oh, where is it? Oh. That's it. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened. What happened? It moved? <laughs> oh, it's a battle arena. Oh boy. Yes, let's go see Madam Twiddle. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. Something bad. <gasps> Mrs. Twiddle. Your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes, I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done! Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional? Oh, my husband 
would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. Rebellion. Hmm. Okay, let me have a look what I've got. Keep the stuff in there that I'm never gonna use. <laughs> oh god. And then I didn't find Nick item. English real quick. Hmm. Let me go in you. And do one handle. Let's get rid of some stuff here. Hello, nice to meet you. Oh, hello. Uh, the name is Porrick Haggerty, and this is my shop. W what may I help you with? I'd like to ask you about your shop, if you don't mind. Certainly, that'd be fine. What would you like to know? What sort of products do you sell? I sell all manner of beast products. I always found beasts interesting, and there's quite a market for them. Fancied I could make a profession out of it. How long have you been living here in Irondale? All of my life. My sister and I were raised here. I stuck around. <sighs> she had other plans. <laughs> I hear there's a goblin mine near here. Have you ever seen it? I've been uh, near it, but never in it. I could likely find some valuable beast products, but it's not worth the risk. Ranrock's loyalists are not ones to be messed with. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Whipper feathers. Whipper feathers. <laughs> Unicorn here. Phoenix feather. Oh. Well, I do need to um, get rid of some stuff, so. It's uh, good luck for me you stopped by today. Glad you were able to stop by. Hey. So many melon trials to do. Melcraft. Hmm. Iron Shire. So many Merlin trials. Okay.
Whatever I may take us at 6.56 a.m. Yes, please. That sounds delicious. Ooh, talents. Got two of these. Okay. Ghost enemies. Ghost enemies take increased damage. Ooh. Doesn't give me till the end. Oh, that's too many. <laughs> okay. Still so many things to do. Three combat plans and use them simultaneously. Go to base class? I always do that. Let's go to base class. The very prophecy, you know. <laughs> it is a plus. I eat breakfast nearly every day. Nearly. Ooh, today we had ham and cheese croissants for breakfast. Wasn't exactly the um, healthiest of breakfast, but it was so good. <laughs> it was so good. Like breakfast with dinner. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. <laughs> I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. The lag on these cutscenes. So annoying. None of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all, in their own way, dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye on his tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. So, team. We're going to put in a slot. It is cute. That's <laughs> lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? <laughs> what do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Probably out further. I, I think it just depends what you do. 
I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. A measle? The heck is a measle? Oh, a couple of measle whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> you need to get to what's on the side with Chris, you. Oh, oh. Stupid thing. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. What in Merlin's uh. name are you doing? Ugh. Tus tus, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. No, it's just a fluffy kitty. Those two don't have exciting news. Near this class. Sure. What is your exciting training? News? Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see so yourselves are getting married up. after 15 now, years being in a relationship with your daughter's father? Congratulations. Ah, That's amazing. And a feat. <laughs> I would like a moment, please. <laughs> what a feat that is. Congratulations. I gotta feed him. I can't not. They like me. They really like me. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast lesson? We've been engaged forever, but this took you took. Uh, Lucy, he took you to the courthouse and got your marriage license together as you give. Ooh! How cute! That's so exciting. I got. <laughs> I got engaged after. six, seven months? <laughs> and then we got married a year later. And we've been married for 12 years, I think, this year or something. <laughs> I don't know anymore. In six years, you know, in six months, you'll be official. Weddings are stressful. They really are. It's one thing that I never want to do again. I don't care what happens. I'm never doing that again. Almost 13 here. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, it's 13 this year. God damn, see, he remembers and I don't. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. Almost They're evil. nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's lie. poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. 
stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible oh, waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. Because the ministry, perhaps. Okay, right, hmm. just phase, yeah. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Australia has a Meanwhile, really good um I also encourage you to study as many Medicare. beasts as you can on your own time. I need Our, to talk to you. Come here. Yeah. We have good Medicare here, so assessing yeah. Brain's disease, oh yeah. Of course. Mental stuff, I hear ya. That's me. <laughs> That's me. And my heart. So I've got my heart and my mental mental health. You wanna be on for any longer? Peace. Did you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet oh. in the forest. The forest. Sounds intriguing and scary. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. Means every two I'd weeks, five thousand just for Medicaid. That's just tough. That is very tough. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you. I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. the weather we're having don't you think poppy where are you taking me it really is much better if i just show you don't worry we're nearly there it's, it's pretty just ahead. stand back we see any hippogriff we are How did I know that was coming? Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Thinks it will all work out. Then. Close up again. I don't even want to think about hospital. Yeah. Yay! I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. <laughs> she's beautiful. She's so cute. So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back, got her to safety, and, well, she was 
Fine, until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. Put them in the I'm eye with your wand. Into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Well, that was cool. Can you play with the other animals? The other beasties? Or do they disappear? Oh, they disappear. I wanted to play with the other beasties. That was kind of fun. Wait. We have to go see what's his face. Oops. Mr. Moon. Go see him quickly. While we're here, we may as well. Whack him. Whack him. <gasps> He's gonna whack him. idea. Peeves was in a mood the other day. Peeves is always in a mood. Oh yeah, I finally figured this one out. Oh, I'll do it right now.
Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. <laughs> Drunk, I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Uh -huh. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, <laughs> the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Oh. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. <laughs> you see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <laughs> <gasps> yes, terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. <laughs> I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Mm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Hello, Amora. Where is it? I'm blind. I'm blind. Oh, wait, I don't have to? I don't have to, I just walk up. Hello, Amora. Okay. 
like a Hawaiian greeting. <laughs> Remove this box. Use Q, E, and A, D to remove this box and rotate the dials until both corresponding gears are activated to release the lock. Oh, and it was spinning a bit. Oh. Which was like around here somewhere, right? I don't remember where it was, to be perfectly honest. I'm so confused. Okay, so that goes there. Now you have us. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, well done! You're in! Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Right. Pavilion. Reminded of staff, the Hogwarts house elves do an exceptional job of keeping the castle in order. They are seldom unprepared for any number of items that they might encounter each day. However, only the other day, an unexpected sash wizarding crackers went for off from behind a cushion. Okay. Oh. We have returned. Yay. No. Uh oh. You see nothing. How are your students getting on? Avelio. Oh, bird. Is that so? We're raising a generation of flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Arcanite. <gasps> ah, man. It's still early. Perhaps Della. <laughs>
Yes, yes, yes. Revelio. Okay, he's facing the other way, so I can sneak up. Just gonna stay in there. I hope so. How are you? Vote for it, I say. Is that so? We're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between us. Okay, which way do I have to go? Uh -huh. <laughs> this must be the prefect's bathroom. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. I bet the God damn it. students thinking they can simply go anywhere uninvited. How the heck am I supposed to get around that one? This one's no problem. It's the next one. I'm gonna move, dude.
Uh oh. Okay. Come on, dude, you need to move. Seriously. How am I going to make you move down there? Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. Mm -mm. I'm in trouble. I suppose Professor Black knows. God damn it! Students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being <sighs> God dang it. Ah, oh, man. Why? Why?
there. But Judith is terribly disappointed about Queen's being tainted. Huh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Hufflepuff? The Ravenclaw? I know. What was what? I thought I heard something. Perhaps not. Anyway, I had high hopes. Pavelia. Oh, God. My God, Lumos. Oh, hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness, you're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. <laughs> it's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is no, as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. <laughs> well, <laughs> interesting. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. Ooh. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favourites. Mm -hmm. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Jeez. So we thought the quest thing was big before. It's going to be twice as big now. Oh my lord. Hmm. 
Okay, we need to make dig. So we should go do that first. Astronomy wing. <laughs> I am a gopher. <laughs> I do everybody crap. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. There was some flitch. Exactly. into the room of requirement. Deke? Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Uh, Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. A knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Mm. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area, so perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out there on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Dee can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Dee when you're ready to go. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Dee loves an outing. Cute. Read the households, keep them in some basic clothes, give them a shock. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Well, it was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. So, T. Okay. This here. Oh, I'm only trying to help. Damn it. Huh. You've got one. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. 
Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskeen. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. <laughs> Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Where are they all? Over there. Come on, come on. <laughs> I'll look after you. They're so cute. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Then I shall go and rescue a jobbernal. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Okay. Look, wrong one. Let me answer. Uh -oh. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. I rescued a jobbernal. Deke hopes your jobbernal finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Moon calves? The heck is a moon calf? Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time... I shall go and find a moon calf. Deke will be waiting... It's so funny. I know. Do cooperate, won't you? Let me also. <laughs> Professor. 
Professor Howen will never believe this. <laughs> Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. It's so cute. <laughs> Then what? It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. They're so cute. I know, right? <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> I like pink. He's like Dobby, just not as hyperactive. Then you home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Oh God! Heavens! You've done it. But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow! Look at this! It's amazing! Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release like. them. Let them see their new home. This is so cool. <sighs> Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. 
If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Wonderful. <laughs> It's a birdie over here. That puff skin like just bouncing around, it's so cute. <laughs> ah, this is adorable. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Make some for DK. <laughs> um, two. That's cool. This is so cool. This room just gets better and better. The room is awesome.
Nine TP, attending from Flectic. We need Flectic's kind of cool. Let's see Flectic walls look like. Confringo. Oops. <laughs> Set my room on fire. God, keep pushing the wrong button. Yeah, the botanical theme is the prettiest one. My um, one that I play off stream is the botanical one. This is kind of cute though. Botanical one is prettiest though. Not gonna lie, there. By the main sources. They're all right. <laughs> I'm just gonna have something different this time. I do like the roof on this one. Wait, what is the other one? <laughs> I like the roof on this one.
But the windows are kind of pretty. Maybe I can make this end a botanical thing. Wait, what's the... Your choice, just <laughs> here. Nope, wrong button again. Yeah. Oh, it's again. Wrong one. It's so cozy. See, when I put this one on, it makes me want to do the whole one in it. Because <laughs> I like it so much. And it did super better with that now. Okay, damn it, I'm changing it.
Ooh. Hello, sweet. That don't do it for now. Cute. It still look like though you can only put one of each of the base in the thing in the booby. Because it wouldn't let me release another one of each kind. I don't know. If I could have a moment of your time... Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. And I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time. Even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well-known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret to Pulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows to Pulso, which, of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? That's how you get yourself. <laughs> if you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. Perhaps I'll make myself a copy. Suppose uh, I should look for that secret hall Sophronia told me about. It does sound interesting. Hello, kitty. Meow. Look, hello, the kitty. All right. Well, guys, I'm not spending too much time. Good lord, what is happening there? Weird. Okay, let's save it again. Yeah. So many um, quests to do now. <laughs> so many quests to do now. I um, I don't even know where to start, to be honest. I thought I was getting on top of them. <laughs> Turned out maybe not so much. Oh, that's okay. We can work on it more next time. But yeah, thanks guys for joining me tonight. It was um, a little bit more of a later stream than normal. But we made it nonetheless. 
Anyway, guys, I'm going to hop off and get to bed. I think it's about that time. So I'll see you all tomorrow. You too, Crack Joy. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.